What's going on everyone? This is Vince from Life with Vince Lou. Time to get my day started. It is 4.15 a.m. About to head to the gym, then jujitsu afterwards. Drink some water in the morning. Nothing. I drink it to like right about there. I'm gonna add in some creatine. A little bit of pre-workout. One scoop has 160 milligrams of caffeine, so you should take a scoop and a half. Then gotta fill up my water bottle. But then you gotta refill up this because So head to the gym, it's about 4.30, a little less than 4.34, 26, 4.27, headed to the gym. I'm gonna meet my friend Chris there today, gonna lift with him, and then gonna head to Jiu Jitsu after, Jiu Jitsu's at six. So this is my morning routine. Uh, I'm taking my girlfriend's car today because of the mishap that happened this weekend with my Infinity but I should be getting my infinity back tonight. So this is her car for now. So just got to the gym. Let's get it. 24 hour fitness. Just finished the session at 24 hour fitness. It's about 5.45. Headed to Jiu Jitsu. Did some deadlifts and pull ups today. About an hour. I try to keep my gym workouts to about an hour or so. Just finished jujitsu. I headed back home now. Still got to get a couple miles in for my marathon. Probably gonna go on a three or four mile run. But jujitsu was good. Got learning side control this week. Uh, side control, yeah. And then I can't think right now. I just got mounted and neon bellied for like 10 minutes. And we only did two five minute rounds, so. But it's good though, you know, I'm look, look forward to it. It's a learning experience. Uh, and Neon Belly sucks, so I, I need to learn how to get out of that, so. So just got done at Jiu Jitsu, came home, showered, and then now I'm about to go back out to walk a little bit more to make sure I get my 10,000 steps. I made that rule a long time ago to try to hit at least 10,000 steps, whether I'm cutting, bulking, uh, anything. So make sure to hit 10,000 steps. Uh, I usually like to shower after Jiu Jitsu just because I've been rolling on the mats. You get all sweaty, so I don't want to get any type of infection or anything. I'm not even sure if that's a thing, but that's why I shower before. I mean, after Jiu Jitsu, and then go back out on a light jog or run, and then I'll shower again after that. So, headed out on my run slash fast walk. All 
also it's about you see that Ooh. 7.53, so I usually like to get in all my exercise before nine o'clock. That includes the gym, jujitsu, and whatever I have for my run slash cardio. enough of that I got to put this camera back so I can really go on my run so I ended up just walking three miles just because when I first started jogging about a quarter mile my hip felt funny didn't want to take the chance so now I'm back walk three miles time to eat I will always fall high in the dark you see stars in the dark you see stars Time to eat. Can't forget about the multivitamin. Just take two gummies a day. So take a look at this turkey sandwich, chips, carrots, ranch, fat free ranch, and some water. Put the macros up on this side. And at Starbucks, gonna get some work done. Just finished four and a half hours at Starbucks, got a lot done, finished one video, working on another video, did research on LLC, S Corp, C Corp, sole proprietorship, uh, was able to take a little bit of my photography course, and yeah, pretty good day so far, it is around 3.30, I am getting a little hungry, luckily I live two miles from the Starbucks, so I'm gonna go home and eat real quick. All right, back home and about to eat a little bit of a snack. I'm going to have one of these Oikos uh, triple zero yogurts. I like these because uh, they're only like 110 calories, 15 grams of protein, but they have six grams of fiber. And then cookie butter sandwich. Uh, Trader Joe's cookie butter, 30 grams. Mm. So I've always wanted to start my own business and I'm super excited to announce that I just filed my business to be an LLC. I'm excited for the journey, the ups and downs, everything, the, the learning, but mainly to be my own boss, to create my own future. The future is in my hands and if I'm good enough, I'll win and if I'm not, I won't, but it's in my hands. Stay tuned for the journey. All right, time to cook some dinner. I'm gonna take a look at my fitness pal. I usually eat the same things Monday through Thursday, Sunday through Thursday-ish. Uh, so I usually eat the same thing. So I like basically pre-plan all my meals. So tonight, two chicken sausages with two corn tortillas, fat-free ranch with carrots, and then ketchup on ketchup, mustard, and sriracha on top of those sausage tortillas, tortilla sausages, sausage tortillas. Uh, also 120 grams of shrimp and two corn tortillas so shrimp tacos and then also some salad so how I usually like to cook my chicken sausage it's already pre-cooked like it's already cooked but turn this on you put a little bit of water in it Just a little bit. Put it on there. Chicken sausage. Ate two the other day, so.
grab the big pan and then I'm going to put some shrimp. I need to grab my scale. Scale, bowl. Boom, 123 grams, close enough. All right, the pan for the shrimp is right around good. Pam is your best friend, my best friend. Boom. So the sausage right now, the water's boiling. I kind of roll it back and forth for, I mean, it's been boiling for like, two minutes or so, so I let it boil a little bit, um, roll it back and forth, and then right now, I'm just gonna drain the water. So you drain the water, you put it back on, there's a little bit of water in there, and then because the pan's hot, it'll dry up the water, kind of roll it around. Turn it down to like a little less than medium. And then you pam it again, not again, for the first time. And then you let it sit there for maybe about, I don't know, a minute or so. And then you kind of roll it back and forth until it, there's, cause it's gonna create like a line that's gonna be kind of brown but you don't want to overdo it, you don't want to burn it. So that's how I like it, so. Got my plate here, already have four tortillas on there. Uh, I'm gonna use the same pan that I use it to fry the I mean, not to fry, to cook the sausages. I'm gonna use that same pan for the tortillas. And then I don't like doing the dishes, all of it at the end of, uh, after I eat dinner. So I like doing dishes like as I'm going in between, so. dishwasher as a dry rack versus an actual dishwasher I've growing up I've never used a dishwasher we always hand wash it and then we use it as a dry rack who else so boom that looks good right here boom that and then as far as the tortillas it's like 15 seconds 15 seconds one side and you flip it over and it's another 10 to 15. That's how I do it. Right when I get about here, I'll pull out the condiments. Tina's fan versus Tapatio. Also, if you didn't notice, I didn't really measure the uh, fat-free ranch just because it says two tablespoons, but it doesn't have a gram size 
It says uh, 30 milliliters. I think milliliters, but I can't. My my scale doesn't measure that way, so I kind of just squeeze out about two to three tablespoons. Yeah. <laughs> Valentina's. The lime, I put it on everything. I promise it's good. And there we go. That's usually what I eat for dinner. Probably five, six, not five days, like four or five days a night right now. I'm telling you, this chicken sausage, taco, hot dog, thing's really good. Mmm. Time for dessert. Gonna have three Oreos with almond milk. Got my cup of almond milk over here. One mint chip ice cream sandwich, and then one mini cone so thanks for watching hope y'all enjoyed that video it was a little bit longer of a video but that's what my normal day looks like four or five days out of the week i try to get up early and sleep a little bit early right around like 10 ish o'clock but yeah hit that subscribe button if you haven't already comment down below comments questions concerns sarcastic remarks and give me a thumbs up if you like the video see y'all soon